Hello everybody, welcome to the quarter-final of CCL, season number 45, Chalice Playoffs. We've got Ungern and his Vampires versus Malala Noose and his Skaven, and in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Everybody, here we are to watch a game between two teams, basically in top three players and eight random guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're both they're both very anti-elf, unfortunately for me. Um, we've got four tackle on the vampires, three vampires with tackle, two of them mighty blow tackle, so they're obviously great for beating up Skaven as well, right? They're great for beating up the Skaven this game. Mighty blow tackle has beaten the rats off, and then the rats have got edge five, edge six effectively, one is, because he's got two heads. And they've also got a bunch of tackle to wrestle tackle gutters with strip and dauntless respectively tackle mighty on the storm vermin the escaven only have 13 players 13 players and their inducement was a babe and that's babe. it okay interesting i a babe think, and, yeah. uh, and 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 they induced a merc line rat. They they took a babe and a merc line rat. So they spent the money. They spent thirty of their own money. So they got. So that's why. They, yeah, they've actually rosters only twelve. So they've got a merc line rat and a babe. Wamps have fourteen men, four really good vampires. Ooh, but bloodlusts could do him in, couldn't they? They're going bloodlust here. Mm. Well, the rookie is a vampire. Really. What was the song by the undertones? <laughs> Time for the rats to react after the KO or seeds. Ah, teenage kicks. There you go. Right. Oh, that would have been a good. That would have been a good thing here, Dev. Yeah. Yeah. Teenage kicks. Yeah. So good. Good bloodlust rolls, right? You, 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 you don't mind bloodlusting if you only stun them. It's horrific if you cast them. So, <laughs> could have gone a lot worse for him. Yeah. Also, four vampires. It's not a little risk on the vampire side. I, I thought that usually it's five vampires. The optimal. Uh... I think they probably had somebody die during the chalice run. <laughs> Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but four still good. Four, four still, like four is getting on the low end, right? You you would rather have even six because you will lose vamps and you need vamps to win the game. That's why you know this this some people will say target the thralls. The problem is people can still win if they've got four, you know three vamps on the field or four vamps on the field. They can still win. But if they've only yeah. got if they've only got thralls left, then uh, they are up shit creek. No ungun plays with four. Well. I guess it's more TV efficient, but it's very risky, isn't it? Very brittle versus like the bash teams that I guess he's avoided. <laughs> yes, because see, if you lose uh, two vampires, yeah, it's very risky. High risk. I still think he'd rather have more. You know, in the chalice, maybe not for ladder. I guess for ladder, you're avoiding the killer teams anyway by by controlling TV a bit. But you'd definitely just want more if you could get them, wouldn't you? <laughs> Dadle. <laughs> yes, Tom Schnees. And uh, surprisingly, none of them have tried to, you know, cut down players or anything. By what I can see. Yeah, I think your vamp, your mic might have cut out there for me. Yeah, or you just. Hadn't spoken for a while, but it sounded like you got cut off at one point. Okay, I'm. A, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, okay. Glorious. Yeah, rerolls are tricky, aren't they, with vampires? They aren't ready. ready, ready. <laughs> so they're loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Johnny Five. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Mrs. Pugla in for a treat. <laughs> oh yeah, put the video on repeat. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dev. Yeah, you want you want the kill teams for the, for the easy wins, but then it's like you also want don't want the kill teams for the health of your team. Yeah, el el elves tend to be a bad matchup for vampires just because they out elf them, don't they? That's the thing; they can just out elf them, turn into a shootout, and they 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 can stay out of range of the elves and then move past the uh, stay out of range of the vamps and move past the vamps. That like bash teams can't. Bash bash teams have got to go through them, and when you've got you know the best cage breakers and team in the game, and your plan is to cage <laughs> in right in front of them, a slow cage breaking team is is perfect against a bash team, isn't it? Whereas against elves, not so much. And now, Bamstan and the rats going straight into it, putting a lot of pressure there. Yeah, this is a. Gross overcommit, surely. This is very easy to move him onto the other vamp and uh, exit over here. Or even just stay. Maybe he can just stay, maybe he doesn't have to. Maybe yeah, he just moves. And he can mighty blow tackle and just solidify. I guess the IG5, there is some juicy targets there. The IG5, two heads right, the downless uh, gutter. Yeah. Yeah, Another IG5 Gatter. Oh, the, all the Gatters are good. <laughs> the Street Ball one probably is the one that's going to get hit. Yeah, I mean, you've got to hit one of them, right? You've got Mighty Blow, you can reach two of them. I don't think it's worth GA fighting to hit the IG6, but you've got to hit one of these, surely. And, but then even the Strength 4 is a pretty decent one to hit, isn't he? And here we come. Which well, like one is going to be? This guy, yeah. Oh, yes. It's the power. The strip ball, yeah. Probably the most dangerous because. Yeah. There are no sure hands. And Ooh. there you go. Sorted. Instant removal. Miss next. Fantastic news for Jimmy Fantastic if the rats win. And the apple <laughs> fail. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go, rats! <laughs> Let's go, rats. Just don't activate him now, do you? He's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think that the guy that is perfectly fine. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> LV dear Boomer, I'm still a bit too excited and I don't think I'm a female. Yeah, that's true. Not just females can get excited by Find Me as Vice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, and he, he hung them all out, though, didn't he? Like, that's the thing, if you leave them all hanging out, then at least, like, you know, you, you should be getting some value from that. And, you know, can he, can he turn what he's exposed into an advantageous board position? Or is he just going to dodge in for a 2D uphill? Well, he could, he could dauntless, right? Pull, uh, put the yes, the guard right inside and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cage you could just dive, yeah. Cage dive with the uh, downless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good point. He can run all the way around probably as well to get the reroll in, and then the it's it's a five plus in. But if he makes it two D, pops it out, but the RG five can score. Maybe that's his plan. No, Pedro, nobody is. I, I Somebody told me I had a good voice once, though. <laughs> once. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm no fine here. All right, no need to, you know, uh, put labels on people. Everybody is equally coachy here. <laughs> Bet they were deaf. Wow. No, it was somebody we were playing Call of Duty with, and he, uh, he called me EMP voice, which was quite nice. <laughs> Maybe my microphone just didn't work properly. But he was like, oh my god, Jimmy Fantastic, you got the best voice. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> he called me Red You can be mine. Glorious. Oh, glorious Red from Sunk coming here. 
Welcome to the semi uh, quarterfinals <laughs> of the CCL Cup between rats and bumps. Welcome, Welcome, to, wings. Welcome to the semi you've probably got listening to Five Years Vice. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> welcome everybody, thank you very much, Zunk. Hope you've had a good day playing the Blood Balls. And yeah, this is the quarterfinal, and the winner of this will be will be facing the fantastic High Elves in the semi. Okay, maybe I missed something, but did he try to cage dive for just a 1D? Yeah. I mean, it's it's risky if he goes in for the two, though, isn't it? Because he's getting his he's getting his uh, arch five hit by this rackle, and maybe fouled out as well. So it was it was a risky call to go in with the and also he's got the two arch five, so one would do the recovery and one would score. So I don't hate this. It's a bit more speculative, a lot more payoff, but a lot more risk. And to be fair, that it's only fifty five percent in the dodging, so you've you've got a good chance if you go in first with the arch six, you've got a good chance of just. Giving up a hit on him and not getting anything from it at all. So for me, it sounds like a half effort. You go, you go all in. I mean, what's the point of going? You know, so aggressive, risking your gutters. Yeah. If then you're gonna have doubt and second thought. I mean, you're fifty percent to knock him down on the one day, aren't you? Which is still pretty good if you get it. Ungern in CCL. Wow. Maybe it's a bit foolish from Ungern then, eh? Playing in CCL before a big match. I don't like doing that myself. Some people enjoy playing in CCL before big matches. I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> a, relaxing, a relaxing match of Blood Bowl before the Blood Bowl, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will, I will never I will never see that as a good idea. But, you know, if, if people do it and they think it works, then fair enough. I mean, now he's got no chance, has he? Really, he's got no chance of the ball. It's almost just t taking pot shots with a mighty blow now, and hope it's good enough. Hope he can bang out a wamp and keep his one-turn chance alive. But the one-turn chance that he can be up against three side steps on the line, so the one-turn will be difficult. Maybe he just keeps going for thralls to try and hope that there's a double one and just stay in the way. It's, it's interesting. It's not. It's very not easy. I don't know, Lehman Russ, I'm getting used to playing Blood Bowl. I enjoy He's it. going enjoy for the bump. Yeah. He's going for the bump. I think this is reasonable. I have enjoyed playing Blood Bowl today and yesterday. So there you go. What the hell is going on here? I oh, know, right? Unbelievable. Yeah, I like this. Just get him out of the way. Gets the pow. No Nothing. I don't like the guard uh, instead of the pylon. Yeah. It's just, it's tough, isn't it? Because you need as much guard as you can get. Like, it's hard because obviously you want both. Maybe he thought he'd take pylon on the claw. Maybe he had a claw one as well. Oh, yeah, because there is no other. The, the, the other also has guard. Yeah, so, so like, maybe he had, like, a claw. Maybe he had a mighty claw pylon. Got her and then that died, so the other one had been given, you know, tackle and guard to be the utility. Like, he's a utility storm vermin, isn't he? Whereas the other yes, one... The other one is also the utility storm vermin. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, maybe he had no choice for that one. Like, maybe he had, like, a, 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 a tackle pom storm vermin that died. But then once that dies, then you've just got to go guard because you haven't got time to make it better, have you? There is a lot of no defense, defense at times. It's what it's what won me the my major in fumble <laughs> was no defense, defense. It's a pretty valid strategy a lot of the time. Comes the hypnotic gaze. No offense, offense as well for these vamps is good because they don't activate anybody if they don't have to. So that's why they're just staying there. <laughs> yes, that's why the vamps do the best. Just stay there, looking menacingly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I was fine for a long time. I was fine for a lot. Like 
so many years I played Blood Bowl happily, and I, it only went bad mentally when it went bad physically. So I think I should be okay, okay again one one day, and hopefully it's soon. Look at that! Now he's been able to have the the weak cage. Would not have been able to do this if he if he hadn't gone in so hard earlier. But he went in hard. He rolled the dice, didn't get them. Now he's just got to cower in the dirt, I guess. Yeah, there is an element of that as well, physics. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yes, you see, uh, the format is uh, very demanding. Yeah. You know, and uh, talking about the blood ball in general, so you know, after so many years of blood ball, so many you know, editions of blood ball one, blood ball two, and now blood ball three coming, why? why we still don't have the squares like in chess you know? coded with a letter and a number so yeah. we could say you know go to h7 <laughs> and then you can block you know d3 or something like that yeah, yeah good. because casting is very difficult when most of the time is yeah you can hit the rat that is next to the <laughs> uh, blitzer with the guard and you yeah yeah, that's true. Oof, we only get the push. This is a massive investment for the rats. Mm. 15 now. This is not making any better. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, maybe, yeah. at least he gets to hit the throw. He's got he's got to hit this vampire right because he's got three side steppers, so he only has three side steppers. So he can put three vamps on the LOS to deny the one turn. So he really has to try and bang out this vampire a, a lot. That's his the the only thing he's got going for him really is bang out this vampire. Then he should have rerolled the the block with the storm vermin. Yeah. I mean, it's, it was turn uh, four. Still have three rerolls. That's a very nice target to reroll. Yeah. 15 by 26. I didn't even see. I just saw the 16. Yeah. 15 by 26. Mm. Yep, LVD. We've already got a great success. This uh, this Skaven is missing the final. Well, the semi-final. Sorry. If they the manage to win. Yes, if they manage to win. So so far, at the moment, I'm cheering for the Skaven. <laughs> That's that is subject to change. <laughs> if if we have a vampire die. <laughs> I have to say that these vampires are bloodlusting a lot. They are, yeah, but he's getting away with them, isn't he? Only stunning things. He's not, you know, they're not slaughtering. He's not slaughtering his own team here. Wow, he bites the guard, which which was like the better one positionally, but that's ballsy, isn't it? Like that is a ballsy bite. I'm really surprised about that decision. I thought the other one was the... Yeah. I mean, that, like, this is why he bit, he bit the guard, but I mean, that could have gone really bad for him. Wow. He gets the 1D 3 plus. That was... Whew, boy, howdy. He can get an assist on the he can get an assist on the vampire here, can't he? Yes. There is already a guard uh, gutter there. Yeah, because he can always get one. He can, he can get two assists then. Yeah, he can always get an assist when he's got when he's got an edge six. I <laughs> will seriously think about hitting the thrall with a tackle and wrestle. Yeah. Because taking down a bump. They have regen. They have the apple. The thing is, if you if you don't bang out one of the vampires, you can't one. Yeah, turn. yeah, you don't. You, you can't one turn. 
So I think you've just got to mindlessly punch vampires. <laughs> you've just got to mindlessly hit them and just hope. Just hope you can get him off the pitch because you ain't scoring against three sidesteppers. Almost certainly. And conversely, if he doesn't have three sidesteppers, it's really hard for him to stop your edge five sidestep from getting the pushes. And like obviously the the edge six one is better if you can get the pushes, but it's really hard to stop the pushes for sidestep. So he could get two assists on the ball, but he just can't get a, he can't get around to hit with anybody else. So he has got the guard wrong. So yeah, maybe, maybe he just runs around and then one D. So. Uh, where is the hit coming from? Oh, that guy. That wasn't bad, was it? Five, five plus for two D with tackle mighty. Who is it again with a KO? Yeah. Yep, yeah, he's not getting any of the dice, is he, this game, Malala Miss? No. And now his gathers are going to be destroyed. Yep, yeah. both of them getting 3 di three deed by Mighty Blow Tackle. And no apple. Yep. Yeah. K.O.'d. Yeah, Ungern is a mad bastard, that's true. Yeah, he has the, he has the, the fame around him. <laughs> Been able from the best and the worst. <laughs> oh. Doesn't kill the gutter. The rats have one baby, yeah. They got, they got a babe and a mercenary lineman. I would probably go on for the second bait. Yeah, yeah, I think I would have done as well. Seeing as who cares about your players, you need your good players. I would have got an apple or, or two babes, I think. Well, this is looking pretty difficult. I mean. I don't think the rats have to try anything uh, fancy anymore. I mean, they probably just have to punch the throw, right? And then hope for the double one bloodlust. <laughs> hope for the old one in 36 to not score. And it's actually not even that bad odds now, is it? Like, it's probably the best chance they've got to stop the score. <laughs> More or less, yes. Mm. Not what you want, but what you've got. The problem is, if you do that, then you're exposing your edge five to a mighty blow tackle. But then, if you leave him down, he's, he, he is going to get fouled next turn. <laughs> so I guess you could just run him away. That will be the sensible thing. Oh! Let's roll the one. And he does run away. Do you one D the air throw? No, protect. Protect the gutter. You don't have oh, many left. <laughs> not not very well though. You still GFI hit here. I guess he couldn't have anyway, because he could have just gone diagonally and gone under him, right? If he if he'd stayed up there he could have just gone that way and, and hit him. No no, it would have been better, one up would have been better. The other guy that should have done a 1G if I at least. Yeah, I think. He, he used his reroll though, hadn't he? But yeah. Don't understand the point of activating this fella. Like, all I'd want to do is hit the gutter. Oh, maybe he's going to try and 3D the gutter. 
Maybe he's going to yeah. turn 3D. Yeah, that must, been, uh, that must have been a plan. Yeah. Now it's going to be a foul on the strength 4. Yeah, after first, the Blitz. First punch him. Oh! oh doesn't get him. And now the foul, yeah. No reason not to with three reserves. Comes the boot. What the hell boy says? Never too big for the boot. Never too old for the boot. Another KO. And he's off. Well, that's alright. I mean, he has more than enough thralls. Yeah, he can't even hit. This one's only move eight. No, one one was only move eight. Is no, he going the for the red the uphill on the ball? I think he was. Oh no, he's, he, no, he can only base the ball. That doesn't seem worth it. I guess because then you take away. But if you're going to do this, why don't you just base with the gut run blitz with a stone burn for 2D? Isn't that better? Yes. But like, he can just punch. The thrall should have just punched. <laughs> that was terrible. Yes, the thrall was a 1 in 9. No. With re roll for the two dice, yeah, that so that was easier. Yeah, it was terrible. You should, you should, you should have blitz with a blitzer. Blitz with a blitzer. He's got no one turn, Tom Schnees. Or, or yes, blitz with a vampire. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you've got to hit with a throw because then, then you can fail with Ludlus and still score. So the, the hit with the, uh, the hit with a throw was definitely the best. But yeah, and the dodge was definitely the worst. <laughs> but so yeah, if you activate the vamp, then you should blitz. But you should definitely activate the thrall and block. Yeah, he's got three side steppers, so you're not scoring one turn. Unless he doesn't put them on the LOS. But what kind of moron would not put his side steppers on the LOS in the chalice? <laughs> Don't answer that. Oh my god, he's not going to put them on the LOS. What is happening? Ah, oh, no, no, he's, no, he's, no, he. Yeah. He's learned, he's learned from, the, he's, he, he, he's learned not to, not to go to the, the gym school of one turn defense. <laughs> you can use the edge five to get one push. So maybe you can get two, but it's, it's hard, isn't it? Well, the rats have nothing better to do because now they are. Uh, how many rats are uh, left in the, in the beach? Eight. Eight. More than enough against not sidestep, but yeah, against sidestep, he's up, he's up shit creek. His fault for not having a one turn, like a proper uh, CCL cab uh, rat coach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why not backline? I guess in case he gets the blitz. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he set up in a one turn. I guess he was setting up for the riot. I guess he was setting up for the riot, wasn't he? Not how I would have set up for the riot, but that was surely what he was setting up for, wasn't it? The riot or a quick snap? Maybe he's a quick snap trying to get one push. I mean, he might be a little bit pissed off, Try, He's had his team banged out. Apple's failed. The, the, has a babe that is more or less useless. Yeah. Still has the second half. I mean, he still can go for extra time and... Uh, the rats can win in extra time, eh, no problem. Yeah. 
But I mean, I just can't believe what kind of moron you'd have to beat and not put sidesteppers on your ass. <laughs> uh, well, they they allow anyone play blue ball nowadays. <laughs> At least he wasn't that bad. <laughs> Oh dear. I like this though, you know, at least he did the right thing here, Malal and Noose. But yeah, yeah, maybe he was trying to hedge between a quick snap and a riot. I guess, like, that's the only explanation, or he just wasn't playing optimal. Which happens sometimes, doesn't it? I have definitely played suboptimal. Oh wow. Wow, that is unlucky. Unlucky KOs there, isn't it? Yes. Things are not going well for the rats. Deech rolled a two. Who's Deech? This thrower. So there you go, he's got... He could have had two babes. And if he had, he would have at least had his thrower back. Um, instead of this mercenary lineman. Yeah. I mean, I agree, Tribe, but what else is he going to do? Like, he hasn't, he, he couldn't really bang out the vamps. Could he? So just set up, hope you get it. I don't know. Who forgot to score? Oh, there's a long list of people uh, that forgot to score in the CCR Cup. Let me read it for you. <laughs> Double quiz. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I've seen people, uh, yes, I've seen people forgetting to score in a regular game, rebel games, not scoring on purpose because that will give you know another roll of uh, chaos to the opponent. Yeah. Rick forgot to score in blitz speed. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sage forgot to score one time, didn't he? Yes. Yes. Uh, Miss Pell 3 also forgot to score recently. But only Daedle in Chalice. <laughs> in Chalice, as far as I know. <laughs> uh, Daedle. <laughs> oh Regular thing in Xbox. <laughs> Very good, Al. <laughs> Xbox strats coming to PC. <laughs> Okay, this looks like the rats are going for the two-turner. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? They got try no idea. Turning try to win on regular time. Yeah. Also, yes, being able to hold for a stall for eight turns with eight rats. Yeah. I mean, they got nowhere near the vamps on the on the in the first drive, but you know, with with worse bloodlusts, like okay, he failed a number of bloodlusts, but he was just like stunning people, and it wasn't impactful bloodlusts, was it? So I guess maybe he's just he's got a score and hope he can high roll in the second half. Yes, if the rats had a full team, a stall could be an option, but they're gonna get punched many times. Oh, killed him. Oh, imagine if that had been on the LOS. <laughs> Just banged out the mighty blow tackle. Oh, Jimmy Dreaming. <laughs> I would have been pretty happy. <laughs> Not going to lie, I'd be pretty happy. And he's only got to get in like two squares to be in range, hasn't he? And four to be in easy range. And how do you even stop him? And vampires are worse in offense than they are in defense. Yeah. In defense, they are absolutely horrible to play against. Yeah. Especially when two of them are a G5. I'm just gonna hand off and just stay there. Yep. God, they're fast, aren't they? Fast, aren't they, Skaven? But I mean, this is this is tricky still, isn't it? I mean, he can go there and then screen, but he can just gaze one, then gaze another one. <laughs> like this is. 
<laughs> this is yes, not yes. even a cage right now. <laughs> no, it's it's a prayer. Yeah, this is just it's a, a wish. It's a wish and a prayer. Yeah. That's one bump, come with one square, one hypnotic gaze. Then another one comes, another hypnotic gaze. Yeah, he had to dodge here. He had to dodge this line. Now. This is just just literally three dice, three dice on the ball. Thanks for coming. Yeah, gaze him, gaze him, Bosh. Sure, I like that. He was the recovery. Okay, he's going in that way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, oh yeah. That's better, isn't it? Oh, that's much better. Okay. Okay. But I would have still uh, done that with the edge five then, eh? For a two plus gives. Yes. I like the the other one just because it was like you know just I just move one square and I gaze. Yeah. But he he wanted to gaze with edge five, didn't he? I I don't I don't really like this. Gazing with him, you want to gaze with East because they're on the two plus. But yeah. yeah. And yeah, and then he can do that, and then he can come in for the two D. Oh God, he could have come in for th no, he couldn't. No, he couldn't have got three D, could he? He's bloodluster, but that's okay because he's got this one to eat. Oh, genius! Space Cadet edit. Well done, Malalanis. <laughs> Baiting the blood last and then wasting a reroll. What a master play. Really good play at the hit pit with, with a thrall as well. Again, only a stun. Absolute bait there. Wasted a reroll. <laughs> Another blood last. So you gotta go for the rock hole, haven't you? But yeah, good spot fighting Mongoose and Ungern. That was much better going the top way. I don't know why I thought about it. I guess you just get you just get a tunnel vision done and I just thought now he's gonna yeah. move two. I, I guess because he, he moved it there, it made you think he's gotta do two. <laughs> I was just thinking that that would be, you know, the more hilarious uh, option. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, can't you? Like, that's the easiest way. And okay, you don't want to do that because he's got a... He's got tackle on the wall, but I mean, it's just like... It's initially easy if he wants it. You can also just outpace them over this way. That's probably the best way, isn't it? But like, if he wants to yeah. score, he doesn't need to think. And like, obviously, so he's got plenty of time to think and work out something better. Click rat, click and so on. Yeah. I think just getting out of range of them now is pretty good. Yes. You get the. Uh, you can uh, left behind three bumps. Or you just can go with the downless. And wrestle. Yep, perfect. And now you have a score. <laughs> well I'll try. There you go. Easy. Oh shit. Terrific here with the merciless uh, <laughs> thing. Yeah. My god. Dirty Dino. We don't need to mention you and your cat girls try, so <laughs> You better be in your best behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you get it anyway, so you might as well. You might as well go down swinging. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's. Uh, this is. I bet you are right. Right. Oh, he failed again. What? My God, these oh, rats what? are not doing well. So the the extra bit wouldn't have helped him here. So only ten men, and the wamps still have twelve, potentially. Yeah, it's looking bad for the rats. They didn't come close to turning over the wamps in the first half. 
I think they kind of did, didn't they? They had a 55% dodge in twice. So... Yes. Yes. And and it, especially the first one was unbelievably dangerous. Because if the first one, if he makes the 55% dodge in, it's probably two dice. And then he's got Edge 6 and Edge 5 and he stalls. So yeah, I guess he think he's, he's somewhat confident, I guess. Oh, try on fire. <laughs> no, it's definitely not Gucci for the rats. But they they were it was really close for them. It actually was really close. The the, the first hit on the ball, the the five plus yes. dodging was really close to disaster for the for the vamps. And also it's a hit that you can't stop. I mean they have I say IG six, so that's the best you can do. Make it a five plus. Yeah. With Tucker. Oh. Yes, Ryan Blue, I do remember when players ran around in the setup phase, that was horrendous. The tree making his way up from the end zone to the to the yellow heads. It's taking up all your time. Hello Necro Invents. I think I think I never played the Bullet Bowl uh, two during that time. I got it when I got the vision to all the teams. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky because that was really bad. Yeah, exactly. Try the, the vamps can implode, but he's just—he's stunning every time. He's been so lucky. I like not with how many he's failed, but he's been so lucky with the results of them. Yes, try. Yeah. Be honest. He stuns everything he touches. <laughs> yeah. Must be his own players or the rats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean that's true. I've had a super easy, easy run with Rick, then Cruz, well, then Alma, then Cruz, then Elliot. Elliot, low skill players, barely known. Yep. Famous in their houses at lunchtime. <laughs> when their mom calls them out of the basement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rotten Blue, yep. Oh! No, oh, does he? Oh. Just, he's only got two rerolls. He eats it. <gasps> and is this the opening that the? No, no, it's not really an opening. But. But it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. I guess you just go in hard now and and hope something works. No, Rand Blue. I'm probably gonna lose these vampires. I think that <laughs> these vampires seem really good against Dells with four tackle and three, two mighty blow tackle whams. I don't have. I don't have tackle on my uh, strength five mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at least you can outrun the vamp. Yeah. If I had tackle on him, I would like if I'd got him to legend and got tackle, I'd, I'd be quite happy. But yeah. Yeah, he has 15 more games to be challenge ready. Yeah. It's looking like vamps, isn't it? It is looking like vamps. We'll see because Bumpers after that have a massive uh, implosion potential. Yeah. And a few uh, bad blood last and that's it. Yeah. Oh, is he going to foul? Is he going to go for the high roll foul? Could be an idea for the like the KO for the drive is huge. I think he's going to foul. I think he needs high roll. He needs to achieve something. Yeah. And. I can uh, there is not a clear hit on the ball? No, I think you just go for the the, the three assist. I don't think you want to go further out of position. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's already like it's all he's already put it there. So if you, you either do a two assist foul and go away, but he's already put the guys there, so he must be giving the foul. Oh god, he's making it even worse. Okay, well, I, I don't like making it even worse position. Oh. It's true, but you're still giving them free a free advance, aren't you? I would have stood the guys up first if I was going to do that. Because it's totally free field position, isn't it? I would rather not give. So yeah, that foul was a terrible decision. Wouldn't have done that. Yes. 
I wouldn't have done that. No, no, I wouldn't have done that at all. Terrible foul. Fail. <laughs> what a noob. Literally, somebody said on the comments of my YouTube, these these commentators are terrible. If the dice are bad, they say they wouldn't have done the foul. <laughs> it's like they literally just didn't get the job. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably was. It probably was fair from the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, yeah. At this point, people didn't convince. People actually believe in the early GG and all, you know, they could Steve <laughs> and all that. I, th I mean, with it being YouTube, they probably believed it, yeah. <laughs> but it would be funny if you didn't believe it and you just did it, yeah. It would be a funny comment to leave on purpose, but. Given the fact that we've seen Blood Bowl 3 Discord. <laughs> Seeing as Blood Bowl 3 Discord exists and we've seen the people that, that exist there, then uh, I think people writing dumb things on the internet, it's more realistic that they're actually dumb rather than a, a masterful troll. Why did YouTube remove negative votes? Uh, probably uh, so that they could... I don't know, probably some ulterior motive with them making more money. <laughs> companies that, the companies that uh, pay you too for getting their videos promoted and all that. What's the point of getting your video promoted from page? Yeah. He has three million on both. Yeah, yeah. That's it. No, I don't think I don't think they give a shit about the content creator of J5. It's literally probably as as five minutes as people who pay for the things. Yes, I mean, how are you gonna, you know, why you will pay to promote a crappy video game to the front page if he already has horrible uh, uh, negative votes? Yeah. But now with the dislikes disappearing, you know, you can make oh like, you know, and that's it. No. Mm. Imagine if you rolled a double one there, it wouldn't have really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Fail hypnotic gaze. Dice it. <laughs> You'd only be allowed to dice like. I mean, that works for me, J5. <laughs> it's worked for my whole life. I only dislike things. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course, James. Like, it's James, obvious, isn't it? under no circumstance, the company will say, yes, our game gives headaches to people, because then you could sue them and win the case, <laughs> because they recognize that their yeah. game caused physical pain. Yeah, I always think that's funny when people say, like, we just wanted an apology, and it's like, dude, they can't apologize, because then they're admitting guilt, aren't they, essentially? Oh, that was a good block. So they're down another one. <laughs> How many players? Three, six, eight now, the, da the Dark Elves. The Vampires are on eight. And the Rats are on nine. Oh, and now there is a much easier cage dive. Yeah, two, two, two minus two dodging. And he's got, the, he's got him there. He could do it. He could go for it. We'll go for the 2D. Yep, 4 plus for a 2D, basically. Yes, put the guard, the rat over the guard, the thrall. And cage just dive. Punches. Maybe he just punches, though, because you know, maybe he can cage dive next turn. It's interesting, isn't it? Because now he's men up. He's two men up now. So it's very interesting. Yeah, but I think Down this is the you. best chance he has to get, you know, a 4 plus dodge instead of a 5 plus dodge. Maybe, maybe. But maybe it's better to just keep banging out things. And, okay, it looks and like with the IG6, it's a 2 plus to enter there. You know, yeah. it's a 2 plus to get the, the guard the rat. Yeah. Thank you very much, Necroimpotence. Absolutely glorious. I need to change that so it's dollars. The last thing I need is, is to get pounds when I could be getting dollars. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god, this the, the absolute tragic state of the pound. <laughs> but thank you very much, absolutely glorious. Yeah, I think the bump should just go as possible. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe you know, maybe he's just blitzing in front. Maybe he's blitzing a thrall in front and just putting the pressure on for next turn is better than just getting nothing by going for the sack and failing. I, I don't know why he didn't put the guard. The guard there. It was a two plus for two dice. Yeah, I, I, I just like I I like there just hitting the front thrall and just getting in the way and making it hard because he like he can't score this turn. So so just make it hard for him next turn and. Because it feels like you're on, they're on top now. There's two, two, two on one over here. Not okay. You can dodge away, but still. I did quite like going for that. Oh, the problem is now you get tackled. <laughs> yeah, the thing, and also, I mean, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Rubles are worth about the same as gym shards. That's true. Um, <laughs> come on. Uh... Jimmy, that rat has started with guard and then two heads. That's a cage diver for a two dice. Yeah. And then AG5. Oh! Had to reroll that oh. down to one reroll. Oh, it's exciting. But I, I just don't feel like you have to, you know, now it feels like, as Tri said, it feels like the rats are, you know, suddenly they're doing well, right? Two players up. Things are going well. Oh my god, he's going back. What a lunatic. Oh, I think that's. I do not like this from Ungern. I what, do not what is happening? Like I do not like going back, and I would have liked just getting in the way because that's the thing. And once you're on top, and you've kind of got inevitability, then I I feel it's like kind of better to play more conservatively, and you know like kind of tighten the screw if you like. Whereas if if you you know at a disadvantage, then you've got to roll the dice by going for the ball sack and stuff. Whereas I I just feel like they didn't have to roll the dice that turn. Uh, just because they've made the removals in that, and now with this running back, it feels like, you know, if they, if they'd had more stuff around, maybe they could have got back and done an easier sack this turn. You can get in with that with that gutter, by the way. This gutter can just can just two plus all the way up through here, and then this one can go and sack. This is a pretty easy two D on the ball. But through tackle, I guess. Two through tackle, and then that one through tackle. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I think that now the Razzies are probably very happy with uh, keeping things as they are. Getting more control of the back of the field. And just uh, go for the overtime. Yeah. Oh. So now, because you've used your reroll. You can just blitz this guy and then get in the way, I guess. Mm. <laughs> one day, Tom Schnees, one day. Oh, it just goes for the it just goes for the one day. Yeah, it was just a free one day, wasn't it? I guess. Yeah, fair well, Free, free red dice. Oh, one day if he makes the Dauntless, isn't he? He's got Dauntless. So he oh, yeah. Just... Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's yeah. just been one day. It's just that guard to head Saji 5, I see it, and I want it to break the cage every time. <laughs> the, come on, it's probably the best cage breaker that uh, is going to be on the CCL right now, in the cup, yeah. since the beginning. IG6 IG guard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve year waiting this rock. <laughs> oh dear. One reroll on vamps is scary at times, yeah. But now surely you can move up. I wonder if he just played conserv more conservative that turn and then the subsequent turn, then maybe he'd be in a really good spot now. But then of course if the cage dive either cage dive had worked, then he's probably won. Like that's the that's the thing, isn't it? That's the, that's the hard thing with this team. Like, the, the cage dive is always pretty much on because you've got these two ridiculous edge 5 and edge 6 gutters and he's only left with one sacker, but he's still got a sacker. The cage dive is always going to be on. It's just how much it loot costs you to go for it, basically. 
Yeah, that was a weird push square, wasn't it? Ooh, that was a risky dodge. Huge, yep. But now he's almost safe. <laughs> I mean, that's the, the truth is, yes, with his, uh, against this uh, rat team, you are never safe. Only a push. Should he have taken the boat down? Yes. You're not going to do anything else for the rest of the time. <laughs> oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> Jimmy is uh, uh, more talented than the average NFT creator and as rich as the average NFT investor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say much richer than the average NFT uh, investor. Even if you have just one pound in the in your bank account, or just fifty pen under your couch. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh wow! Here we go. We're going in this turn, aren't we? For sure. <laughs> oh man. It's true, Skuru, I don't I don't fall. Oh okay, he's not going in with a ball sack, or he's going in already. Dude, why did you why didn't you displace that fucking Oh I I did not like not displacing him first. I guess he feels he's gonna have to make one of these eventually. Oh, gets did. him! Gets him! Finally gets him. Now we have six. Well, it's not that easy. This is the thing. Like, I wanted to displace him anyway, right? Like, he's in yes. the way. It's like he's not He's not a good guy to have. This tackle is, is in your way. Even with Edge 5, this tackle is annoying. So I would have I would have thought about dodging in the guard and then punching. But then I guess you've got no, then you've got no recovery at all, have you? He's rolled away. Oh, I see one on the screen. Ooh. Interesting, interesting turn of events. Yeah. Very exciting. Lords out for the wamps, lords out for the rats. <laughs> Undecided, not that happy yet, Skuro. <laughs> not that happy yet. I guess overall pretty happy, yeah. I would have been overall happy. Why are you I saying let's try? Who am I, who am I cheering for here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you scatter his one tackle zone? Maybe you do scatter and hope that a gutter or a, you know, a storm vermin or the thrall catches it. I don't know. Nah, I think that that's better. Just be next to it. I mean, there is also an energy five vampire around. So. Mm, I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's worth just trying, trying to get a weird scatter. Yeah, more cars. God damn it! God damn it! Does he just punch the air? Uh, does he just punch this gutter? With tackle, and, yes. Yeah, and then scatter. <laughs> yes. I mean, and that the scatter goes in a much better uh, direction for the bumps. Yeah, OT and more death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My ball is safe. Safe, clear. But it's still not easy to get. Like, there's all dice rolls to get there and stuff, isn't there? Bloodlust Blood fails. Lust. But that's okay, there's a thrall there. That's that's false. False try. 
Wait, why not follow? I don't know. I thought that was the one that was going to pick up the ball. Maybe he's going to pass it to him? He's going to pass it to him. Ah, all right, all right. No? Oh, no, he's going to stand there. Yeah. But yeah, he should still follow it anyway. Yeah, if it, was, yeah, it doesn't matter. I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. He's got the ball. He is going to pass it to him, I guess. Or what? We'll get served. What's happening? No, I just thought he had sidestep. <laughs> Obviously, now that I see he's not the sidestep one. <laughs> it would be insane. <laughs> he's the one vampire without sidestep. In my defence, I just thought I thought that's why he was standing there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Big roll there, wasn't there? Big roll to get that throw helping. And uh, now this guy can I come think, around probably. I think there is a way to get the to hit the ball here with two dice. Yep. He can't score though, he cannot score Malalamus. He cannot win in normal time. All he can do is stop the score. So that's it. Dodge, put the guard next to the ball. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off caution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say one thing and Dimmy will never f let me forget it ever. Because we never let the Dimmy forget anything either. Yeah, that's that's oh, fair. Is the pow. That's fair. Dimmy fall falls off his chair once and <laughs> it's remembered <laughs> forever. <laughs> Deirdre forgets to score in one playoff match. <laughs> Remembered forever. <laughs> the impossible ball sack, yeah. But how to defend it? Not my it? chance. Not my chance. There are some rats I uh, got that are missing next game, but the bumps yeah. are more or less uh, okay. What's that? The miss, the, there's a kick lineman is miss next. The, uh, the strip gutter is miss next. Rackle strip gutter. There's a dead thrall and a badly hurt thrall. The rats, no, I said at the start, the rats can't score this turn. Just trying to stop. Yeah, th then when he lost afterwards, he tried to use that as proof that he did the right thing. <laughs> which, which, you don't get more space cadet than that, do you? <laughs> See, there was no point me even trying to. <laughs> Amazing. The sized up to control the scout is good as well, isn't it? This, but it's still, it's still possible that uh, that the wamps do something here. He's got edge five. But this is uh, two, three, four, isn't it? But he can, he can gears one. And he can get a 2D. Gears 2D and then match 5 comes through to score, so it's possible. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe he couldn't have been served that turn. Like, maybe the falling back was the right play, but it seemed really bad, didn't it? It seemed really bad, the falling back. But yeah, it could have been the right play. We don't have a Blood Bowl supercomputer. Yeah, exactly, Necropotence, yeah. Oh, he's made the dodge. Of course, yeah, to, to get the two plus gears. And then it is a two great play from one gun. So here we go, 2D on the ball with tackle. Bloodlust is fine, because there's a throw there. You go! Oh god, yeah, that was amazing, J5. Gotta re-roll it. Just 
just has to. No, it doesn't have to because it's overtime. Oh, maybe he didn't have to. I, I thought that was a non-unnecessary uh, roll. Yeah, maybe he doesn't you, have you to. You can just say, okay, overtime uh, can do the magic. But yeah, mm. overtime. Yeah, because if you power him, where's he sidestep? Like here, maybe, to make him have to go more laterally? Yeah, maybe maybe you have to not re-roll that. If he if he would have got the the gutter down and he had a chance to score, then yes. With the IG5, you know, try to go for that. Oh look who's back! Hey, the extreme four! Yeah, maybe he shouldn't re-roll that. Bumps without the re-roll. Oof. Yeah. Oof. He's really ungunned this up. <laughs> I have to say that the... Nah, you still uh, think the bumps because they are receiving. It's 9 versus 10 though. They, they failed their KOs here. But there is 4 bumps on the pitch. There is still all the full 4 are still there, but no re-rolls. No re-rolls, no sure hands. There's tackle. There's quite a lot of tackle on the rats. Means they can't, you know, get critical bloodlusts. They can't re-roll. It's this is going to be tricky. Still, it's still going to be tricky. Yeah, that's why they like uh, rolling the the the, the hit because even if you get the rat down, the rat has a side step, so the scatter is going to be complicated. And then your IFI has to do a lot of rolls and two GFI. Yeah, I think he maybe it was maybe it's better to not re-roll that. Yeah. But I mean, we don't know, do we? Until we get the blue ball supercomputer, we'll never know. <laughs> and that's impossible to happen because if there was a supercomputer, the first thing that the supercomputer will do is uninstall uh, blue ball two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even if uh, there is the supercomputer and the supercomputer gives you the perfect result every single time. <laughs> People will complain and argue with the supercomputer. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no. What a machine knows about Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl is about passion. <laughs> yes, BB3 is out of the window. <laughs> it's out of the, yeah, no, the, 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 there was another beta out a month or two, two months ago, I think, Rotten Blue. I just didn't put it on YouTube till today. Um, <laughs> only played two games. Uh, it was diabolical. Oh my god! Whoa. All four vamps. Van Helsing. <laughs> Van Helsing was on the, the pitch invasion of Van Helsing. <laughs> In incredible. Okay, okay. This is the time where the uh, Unger has to drop the GG. <laughs> if there is a drop the GG moment, is this pitch invasion? All my vamps. <laughs> What? The vamps can't bloodlust this turn. <laughs> wow. At least the Skaven and... Oh, no, I was going to say at least they can't get there. They're Skaven. No, they totally didn't get there. <laughs> well, Jimmy, I think we're going to see click rat, click ball happening. <laughs> No, I don't know why he's blitzing. I really don't know why he's blitzing. Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, unless he's trying to make. Oh, he can. He can make a formation here with the dead bodies. Yeah, no, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like that. So that makes it. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good from Ungun. I like that. At least he's got some kind of oh, formation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dead bodies. Is. And he can get out of range actually. So yeah, he's got out of range. Complete, complete out of range. The next turn, he's got all his vamps back. I mean, it's obviously it's horrific. I mean, obviously it's completely horrific. But <laughs> at least it did something. Yeah, I've got, I mean, of course, try. But like, at least he had an idea. That's why he did it, wasn't it? But yeah, he's, he's obviously. He's obviously up shit creek with a heart pad. I mean, when you only have four uh, thralls left, you know, you know, like, uh, much to be able to do. Yeah. I think that uh, that pitch invasion is the most surgical pitch invasion I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's in amazing. Blue Ball ever. 
I mean, only the vampire. <laughs> no rats. Fight force. Unbelievable. No thralls, nothing like that. You know, it's the revolt of the people, the peasants coming with the pitch and forks to the. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 the loner line of <laughs> the man got hit. Screw, screw on, I agree on almost everything, except almost everything. That is actually pretty accurate, it's funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> how can that statement be accurate? Yet it is. <laughs> oh dear. And he's got tackle on the vamps. <laughs> yes, try, but when we did the WrestleMania card, Skuro just said cat pawn, and I thought it's not worth not worth a retake, is it? <laughs> not worth a retake. Let's go with let's go with uh, cat pawn. <laughs> uh, I just got a kitten a few days ago, so keep your filthy hands away from my kitten. <laughs> and from me too. If you haven't seen it, you're on night one, try. You can see there where, where we talk about where we talk about your cat porn. <laughs> he's just gazing him. Who's he punching? Oh, he's he's bloodlusted. And now he gets the removal. Finally. Finally, he's only failed about 42 bloodlusts. He's finally cast himself. What does he do with the ball? Pass it to the uh, gutter runner and say, thanks for playing. <laughs> okay, uh, Jimmy, start sending uh, Keith Fox the message. Uh, advice for High Elf versus Rats, please. <laughs> Setups, please. <laughs> oh, dear. I hope my sidesteppers can survive so that I can actually set up against the one turn. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right. Ball on the IG5. That's something good. No, oh, gets the 1D pow. Now every move from the vampires is a skitty, but clinching bat moment because they have no reroll. Yep. LV, dear, Reddit's advice will be their best players are their gutter runners. Simply blitz and remove these players, and you should have no problems winning. <laughs> exactly. If every hit is a removal, this game is very easy. And your opponents just let you hit their gutter runners instantly all, at all times. Oh, dear. Pretty good, isn't it, Try. Just so we can get Timmy in the brain, basically. I mean, that was the that was the main reason. <laughs> that was the main reason for that match <laughs> was Timmy in the brain. <laughs> and then we had to get obviously Gadenik in the hand and brain match. And then I thought I can't. I just you know. I, well, I wanted to do the match then. I hadn't made Necronom sadly. Could have could have debuted Necronom, but then I thought, well, there's the Try and Nick uh, connection, isn't there? With I like Gadenik, I do not like Try and stuff. So I thought that's fair enough. Yeah, that's true here, Dev. So here we go. Fails the Dauntless. Double POWs! I... I... Morrow <laughs> <laughs> catches it! <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. He has the hit with the other run. Why didn't he punch him here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. No, Shawnee, no! Oh! He's got a fish for a power, hasn't he, on that vampire? Uh, yes. Nothing to lose, everything to win. Yep. Gotta punch him. Don't, don't hit the vampire. 
with side step. Just go with the one dice to the ball carry. Oh, I like hitting him. I like hitting him. But now he could even sidestep here. Yeah, he just goes there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the obvious one. But he could have. He could have thought about going there. Do you wonder? You just wait for next turn. Just wait for next turn. Exactly. Just yes, do the one D and see what happens. Boom. Pow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, I like just not activating there. Because now the one bayer goes and gets it, right? Whereas otherwise you just let you just leave the see, thrall next to the And If uh, he hadn't hit the vampire, he could have done a three plus with the storm vermin. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then another player. No, to I, the I, mess I, there. I would have rather not rolled powers. I would I would have genuinely rather just left it on the thrall, because what the fuck's he gonna do with it? You know? Whereas now the one can move up, pass it, run away, anything can happen. Hi. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, <laughs> and coming soon is my new book on how to deal with Scaven called Cleaning Gutters, A Blood Bowl Guide to Rats. This simple, one-step tutorial book will explain that all you need to do to stop Scaven is One kill bar, all the gutter runners. You can't click rat. Oh, click end zone if the rat is dead. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more pro tips. Thanks, Morida. <laughs> yeah, just chuck it away. I really can blitz, can't I? I can dodge and blitz. Oh, okay, that's that's. I mean, that's better. Now he's got tackle on all the rats. Oh, <laughs> it's a cast. Dead. Ooh. Miss next. Oh, never lucky. Diced. <laughs> Diced again in a game I wasn't in. <laughs> Why wasn't he dead? <laughs> That's the downless one, you know? They're gonna have to roll a 4 plus to hit you, the player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. God, 3, yeah, 4 plus, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is he gonna take it? Oh, he's got to at some point, he's gotta move forward. Maybe he doesn't. I'm not sure that even he knows what. To... <laughs> no, it's, it's... Like, it's a horrible, it's a horrible situation. It's an absolutely horrible situation. Yeah, I think you've got to, you've got to not let him pass it. So I think he's got to, he's got to, like you know, cover him down here because as, as Tri says, right, it's a, it's a long way to the end zone. If if you if you come forward and pressure like he did, then then it's given him the chance to move past you, isn't it? Get pass away. And... Uh, that's not the rat. The rat has a stone burning with guard. <laughs> you could have used uh, the random line or two, you know, put it there. Yeah. Yeah, true. If you, you know, Ungern might think kicks is his best chance right now. I mean, but he still, he still wants to try and score, doesn't he? I mean, it's hard from the stall, but it's made been made a lot easier to stall without Rackle Dauntless going. He's taking care of both of the sack, the sacking gutter runners. There's no real sack but... potential left now. There's this tackle. There is a, the tackler there, yes, but it's a beastie. Yeah. So he's just got to lock him down with a vampire, and uh, it's going to be very difficult for Malala Nus to take his ball away. He could have a... I know, but that's side step. Yeah. No, I, I was thinking of freeing the tackler. Oh! Yeah, yeah, you can't win. Oh, gets a big pal, though. Big pow. Oh! <laughs> Only a KO. Diced. <laughs> oh, he, he apples it. A good, good choice, I guess. Yeah, good choice. Yes. What else? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's that's big. Only one tackle left. Huge. Yes, and he's going to uh, be able to sandwich the other. Uh, or maybe. Okay, okay. Safety, just in case. Yeah, a bit of a safety, but not a lot. I 
I mean, you can't sack it, right? It's like, and you've got the ball in large fives, you just, you just blitz and move up and everything. And you've got blodge, he hasn't got tackle. It's, it's, it's hard for him to get 2D on you, ever. He can, uh, Two stun behind him. Can lob it to the one uh, mighty blow uh, side the step to the top. Yep. Yeah, he did leave the vamp turtle on. I think he shouldn't have left that. I think you should. I think you should have changed. Ooh. I think you should have covered the vamp turtle. Yes, because that was a. Uh... Boy, howdy. Ooh, bloodlust. Ooh, bloodlust. He's got a double GFI now, or is he just going to go up here and bite him? I guess he just goes up here and bites him. Yes. Goes up. But now he's got 2D on the ball, just without tackle. He's got the edge five, and he's got two D into two D as well. If he hits this guy, so he should, he should get the ball here, shouldn't he? Why on earth did he do that? That is, I don't want to say it's terrible, but it's fucking terrible. Oh, I guess if you push him there, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. You can push him here. Well, no, now. I oh, thought God. he would have gone for the chain. Oh, no, no, not like this. You, you, dude, you just clear him and then you 2D into 2D. It was so weird, wasn't it? Gets the power, though. And they're at the score? N it takes a GFI. No re-rolls. Could stand here maybe. No, I guess he just goes for it. Can go to the left and cover with the other rat that can get, he can free. Yeah, he can get away from the tacklers. Yeah, he can stand here, can't he? He can stand here. And then tackle can't can only base tackle can only base. No, this one this tackle can't even base. This tackle could only base. So, yeah. As you wanna beat. Yeah. And now he can finally make this block that he should have made ten years ago. <laughs> Approximately, <laughs> Approximately ten years ago. Oh, yeah, it gets him anyway because it's wrestling. Like just try and scream or something. Base there and then punch him. Yep, yeah, looks like the rats win. And their only damage. Oh no, the, the kicks the kicks miss next as well. The kicker is uh, missing. The stripper. The stripper is also missing and there is a dead line. So what Ungern should do now is he should blitz uh, this edge five with this tackle mighty blow. <laughs> Go on Ungern, I believe in you. Make the right play for me. <laughs> Indeed, bro. Yeah, he should have made that block eight long ago. The, uh, the blocking that wrestler. To Ages. Missing next game. Yep. Missing this game. The stripper is missing next game. Miss next game. Basically dead. His team will only be getting to play one more game ever. <laughs> Guaranteed loss in the next one for them. <laughs> no, it isn't. Unfortunately. 
Right, go on. Hit hit the edge five. Kill him. Blitz him. Kill him. No. 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 Should have blitzed the gunner. <laughs> that doesn't help Jim. <laughs> it just did you. Oh, you absolute dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill the edge five! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! It's like Elliot all over again! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Diced in a game, I'm not even. No, this was the right play, obviously. It got him. Got him to base the ball with his tackler, and it gives him a, you know, maybe one in six shot to win. So it was completely the right move to do, but uh. <laughs> Unbelievable that he killed him, isn't it? And he can gaze him as well, can't he? Might as well. I mean, this was a lot of dice to get him to roll that 2+, plus, so he was definitely right not to GFI, I, I believe. And neither side's got a re-roll. Man, if this is a one, like I don't think there's a way to make it better, is there? You just, yeah, do your safe moves. Do your safe moves and then roll a two plus. Oh, one in a day. Don't roll anything, just dodge. Here we go. And he does it. And it's gonna be the rats. Yep. I think they're gonna get a wizard versus you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They might, they might be having a wizard. <laughs> Jesus, <hate that. laughs> at least Gazum a death. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wow, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? What a, what a wild, what an absolute wild one. But yeah, that was a pretty good result for me. Oh, his throw got the MVP and got an extra skill. So his throw, he'll have an extra tackle. Another another one who gets a tackle before his game against me. Very, very sad. Broken. Broken. There's no chance now. Never lucky. Never, ever, ever lucky. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah oh, what a, what a crazy game. What a really crazy game that was. Well played oh, to both. Yeah. Commiserations, Ungern. Congratulations, Malalan. <laughs> Strong arm incoming on the thrower. Yep, I'm sure that's what you're going to take. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Yes, uh, Malalan is. We're absolutely sure it's going to be uh, that or Fen. <laughs> Pass block, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, Dog to the Dog. Yeah, Nuffle showed favour with that pitch invasion. That was unreal, wasn't it? Um, well, that was the. I mean, that was the most epic pitch invasion I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Absolutely. The four bombs. Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, thank you so much, Faimir. Anyway, ab absolutely amazing having you in the booth. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be here. And, uh, and I'll be here also probably next Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, UK time, 6 p.m. UTC. Yes, let's hope so. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get that sorted. And uh, it'll be glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.